So the one thing I realized was how fast it was coming back. So the one thing you want to change is if I go to configurations in general, there's actually a lot of settings here. And by default, it's set to three seconds. And I saw that and I added the five seconds. Okay. And then I hit save. Um, but the other thing I noticed too, and as I pulled up the logs and notice, I think we have a misspell here. So error was found generating bedrock runtime trying to do this because the invoke model has no attribute and I was kind of worried about that so let's go look at it real quick so if we go to code and let's close all this because that's not important and let's let's now verify our code real quick um, just see if we misspelled something or if something is wrong um, so let's see it's crying about this oh you dummy see that's what's important that I pay attention to my spelling all right, cool. There we go. So now let's deploy that. I'll put model, M-A-D-A-L, and start E-L. All right, so now let's see. And you probably saw that at the beginning. You're like, Tim, you're going to screw up later. Um, so let's see what happens now. All right, so let's go to our Python now. Let's see if that worked. There it is. Okay, what is the problem here? Let's see. Da, da, da. Air was found. Access denied. Okay, so that's important. We got to set our access row. All right, cool. So let's go over here and take care of that. So that's easy. If we go back to here, let's make this collapse so we can get out of that. And if we go to configuration, over here we want to do permissions. All right, so what we're going to do, sorry, we're going to come over here. We're going to look at our execution row. Now, this is probably something you should have done at the beginning of the Lambda. And then <clears throat> from here, what we want to do is make sure that we have access because we're actually saving to the S3 bucket. So what we do is we can come up here and we're going to just attach a policy. And I'm just going to give it admin for now. You're going to do something totally different, probably. Uh, you're probably going to create a group just for that. But because this is me and nothing else, then I'm going to make sure we have admin rights. All right, that's all we should need to do. Let's go ahead and add. Uh, we should be good. So now if we go back to our Lambda again, let's go ahead and try. Let's clear out our logs. Okay. Um, bam. And let's go ahead and delete. And the cool thing is me working through this, I knew it wasn't going to be perfect. And again, that's how I like to work my videos because it's not going to be perfect for you. Those people that fly through stuff and they have everything perfect, it's usually because they already have it planned to begin with. Um, I kind of do, but I kind of don't. I kind of like to build it on the fly. So we don't need our roles anymore. So let's go ahead and close that. And let's go ahead and do this. And let's go back over here to our code. Okay. And let's go ahead and run this again from Postmon. Oh, we don't need this open. All right. So let's go ahead and open that up. Look at that. And we have one. And we have our code. Now, let's see how cool this is. We may be done. How cool is this? So you highlight, you click it, and you say download. And then we're going to open it up, um, open, and we're going to open this up in, um, let's just open it up inside, oh, oh, it's not dot, dot .python, that's why, okay, so let's, I'm not going to tease you, we're going to delete this, okay, and what we're going to do is go back over to here, we're going to leave that where it is, I meant to say, I don't know why it didn't delete, maybe I clicked on something different. Let's go here because uh, oh you have to say yes permanently delete i'm sorry because so this is where the cleanup would come at um at least i know this worked to this point and here's the cool part so let's go ahead and permanently delete okay and then close now normally i wouldn't have this window so big but i, I have it like this so hopefully you can see it but what we need to do now is over here not that over here, what we need to say is our language type is PY, okay? And what is 2 plus 2 in Python? Go. Okay, now let's go see what we have over here inside of our S3 bucket. Refresh. Dot pi, that's what I wanted. So now let's download this. Uh, did it download? Yep, probably downloaded it twice, but it's okay. We'll just open this one. 
And I'm getting my hopes up here. I don't like this whole scrolling thing. Let's get some real estate. Let's open up the folder. Let's open it up with this. It's trying to open up in the Xcode and it takes a while. So there's Xcode. So what it gave us, it says extension.py. Don't really care about that. That would probably should be cleaned up because that tells us what our extension is. Um, print. So this, it tells us here is your Python code calculated ta -ta -ta, using the py file extension. Now, Notice it even says Python code. Here's your Python code. So we really didn't have to write that out. But it gave us this. It gave us an example to run this. So it gives us instructions. The only thing I don't like is it's not smart about the comments, but that's okay. If I take this and go over here to here, and let's just create a new one. And we know how this works, right? But we're going to do it just for kicks and giggles. Let's say new. Oh, not new file. New Python. Uh, just call this one test and then we'll just run this bad boy we know that equals four but the point is the code worked how cool is that so let's do something more complicated um, that's pretty cool so let's say what if we wanted we're gonna close this and we'll come back to this in a minute so what happens if we say something like this oh no yeah post is fine well, let's see if we can do users. Uh, is there users? No, but there's comments. All right, so post seems bigger, so we'll go with it. And what happens if I say something? I mean, at this point, that's just cleaning up your code. I'm not sure what that is trying to ex bring in. Um, so let's try another one. Let's see, write code. Write code. Write code to pull data from here into a CSV because that's going to be JSON, right? Um, let's see what that does. Go. But my point is this really works. After this, we'll try something kind of fun. If this, let's see if this works. Uh, again, you're going to need some cleanup. That's fine. Uh, what happened to that? Let's go back. Is this the right bucket? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, so let's go here. Ah, I do that quite a lot. It, I mean, you can download it from there, but you just need to check and then download. And then go here and then open in Finder. And then open with all these other ones are ones I've tested before, so I know this works. Uh, so And it's actually pretty cool. So we're going to do this. Ah, so this doesn't say the uh, bringing in that ext so i think we were right i just need to bring it in correctly um, one of the issues is i'm not really set up over here correctly as a project but if you notice it's smart enough to do this um it does want to bring in the request let's see if we can do that um bam and install packages okay so that worked so now if i bring this in and we just say run no i can do it from up here run and just like that, it gave us something. Let's minimize this. Um, what did it give us? Post. Open post.py. So, oh, it's saying open this. Oh, well, it's got a little confused on that. I think our extensions are throwing it off because that should have been in a CSV, not that. Um, so you need to play with a little bit more. I see, write the code. So let me show you some examples that I did yesterday, but I'm really surprised it did that. But it knows to read it as a file. Write. How about save? to a CSV. Write the code to pull data from um, as JSON and save to CSV. Maybe I'm just trying to be too generic. Let's see if we can get a little bit more details and see if this works. And then I'll show you some other stuff. Okay, so let's go here and let's refresh. Let's go here and let's just download this. Open it. 
open with code. And let's see what is it. So it still wants to do the PY here as an extension. So I'm not sure why it's doing that. So I could change that here and then just grab this. So I think it's being a little baby about that extension thing. But if that's the only thing I have to change in that simple code, then that's fine because there's the CSV right there. So what it really did though is it in a quick few seconds, it took all that code and downloaded it um, into this CSV file. So if I open this up, that's what it looks like. So that quick and that easy, right? So it actually wrote the code for me. Um, it's getting confused with that Python extension. So what I'd recommend is just go clean up your, your JSON. I mean, not your JSON, your, your, your Lambda. Oh yeah, it has no idea what that is. So let's move that to trash. Um, but it's smart enough to go grab your Lambda data and figure out stuff like that. The one thing I want to show you is what happens if I say and go, because there's a guy on my team, he dies for go. Um, oh, I didn't say in Python. So maybe that's why. In go. Maybe that's smart enough. Write the code in go. I think that's why I was throwing it off. Because I didn't tell it which language to do. Which is kind of odd that it picked up Python. I guess maybe because... I don't know. It's kind of odd. And again, this is part of machine learning, right? So it tries to figure out what you're thinking, even if you are an idiot. So uh, let's go to here and refresh. So Look at that. There's a Go file. So let's go see what it looks like. And let's see. Download. Let's open it up in Visual Studio Code. Now, I do have uh, Golang. So, it still thinks it's Python. Huh. No, it doesn't. No, no, that's Go. Okay, cool. So, if I do something... Oh, yeah, because it has a function main. I should have saw that. So, if we do something like in... Where's our post one? Yeah, we're kind of done with this. So let's just close it. Um, in C++. And I want the extension to be a CPP file. And go. I mean, you got to admit, it's kind of cool. So you basically are telling it what, he, what you want it to do, what language, and it actually will go and generate that code for you. Now, again, here's a CPP file. So you really want to spend the time on your um, Python, on your Lambda, and make sure you get it right. Uh, so here, we'll go ahead and open this up with Visual Studio Code. And there we go. That is CPP. I mean, it's CPP. <laughs> That's C++. Uh, for sure. All right, so let's do one more, and then we'll, we'll end just because this is funny. Uh, let's do Rust. Um, so a buddy might, you know, I know Rust will work. We're going to do something stupid. We're going to say in C Sharp, and I want the extension to be a PY. Let's see what happens. So I did something funny about this the other day. Um, is I gave it the file and the extension, and it told me, "Hey, dummy, this is how this is your answer for this, but you probably want to use this instead." And that was that was kind of cool. So here's a PY, and what I'm expecting is to see C sharp code. Um, see, the file extension is already different. Um, in fact, it's very small. It might even broke. Uh, nope. So it actually gave it to me, and it says C sharp right here, C sharp. It's like, look, you're an idiot, but this is how you do it in C sharp. Um, the one that I did the other day, I said, you know, I told it, passed in what the um, what the language was, and that's what I meant to do here. So if you'd go back and clean this up, you'd probably want to do one more to do the language. Or if you're really smart, you do you make the extension match whatever the language is, right? Um, but even though this is a Python file, it gave me the C-sharp code for that. Um, but 
I was looking to even did a post call. So, but the point is, it's a really cool system, um, and it was really easy to make. I kind of knocked this out this morning, uh, walking with you. We had some errors. The biggest thing you want to take away is make sure you spend time to actually learn um, the layout here and these lambdas because this this is kind of the heartbeat of it. So you you have your actual lambda, and there's templates, but I've never used templates, so. Um, and then the layers is just where you're adding your changes, right? And then they do something because this is an event. You can add other triggers, right? Maybe I want it to call a database. Maybe I want it to, um, I don't know what the Alexa thing is. But maybe I want to stream data, right? Maybe I want to, and maybe I'll do more videos on that because I did have a customer that kind of forced me to learn how to do lambdas. And there is a lot of stuff in here in the Lambda set, are pretty cool, just out of the box. And as you can see, you can even write your own. So I could even have this API, you know, trigger this, and then have that trigger another destination over here, right? So it's kind of like an ETL type situation. Like I can create another Lambda that does something else that's triggered by that. Kind of cool, huh? So let's go back to here. So most importantly, make sure you look at your monitoring, uh, your configurations. The other thing too, the S3 buckets are very simple, but they have a lot of great use cases. Um, oh, and the Lambdas too, make sure you kind of look at things like layers. Layers is the only thing I've ever used. So I don't know what the other stuff is, functions. But if you go to, um, you know, if you start from the beginning and just do bedrock, there is so much information here to pick up from it that you know spend time in here and see what it is again it's always get started don't know why you get started because i've already got started um but you know look at the models these are the models understand i've only used this one to be honest with you uh just because to me it has the most variety of things that i want and it's really not hard again if you just come down here and grab whatever the id is and then use it uh, oh right here so it's right there um so if I want to use this one, it's there. If I want to use this one, it's not available. See, so there's things you, you kind of want to come in here and look at. If I want to use this one, it's right there. And you saw that we used Bodo. There we go. So that one was really good. And that's where I got most of my examples from. So anyway, spend the time, learn this stuff. There, there's no way you're going to learn what I did just by watching my video, but hopefully it's a good enough example to at least get you started. Here's a playground you play with. Look at the examples. Um, the one that I did was kind of a torn between, because I'm a developer. I like coding. So mine was kind of a cross between programming, you know, the data generation piece. Uh, not data generation, I'm sorry. Um, the code generation. Um, you know, and again, Good luck. Have fun. If you have any questions, reach out to me and hopefully this makes sense. If not, it's really cool.